last part. It's been an amazing past month. God has been at work among us. Our confirmation service saw two people baptised and six confirming their faith. Great stories of faith were heard from former heroes of our church. God is at work among us. Several individuals have agreed to step forward to serve. God is at work among us. These are signs of our discipleship, our following Jesus, deepening faith among us. More returned to in-person worship. Many took time to pray in our 24 hours of prayer. A goodly number pledged to increase their giving towards our 2022 budget. God is at work among us. Yet as a pastor, I know the hardest part of being a disciple. It's trust in God. Thank you to you who have returned your pledge form. We live our discipleship as we trust God to provide when we give to his work at the church we belong to. We aren't only worshipping together, we aren't only praying together, we are participating together in resourcing God's work. I say the hardest part because there's much truth in John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, his comment, the last part of a man to be converted is his wallet. Learning to trust God to provide when we give to his work is often the last part of lived discipleship. St Paul encouraged his churches to be generous people. In 1 Corinthians 16, he explained what a trusting follower of Jesus should do. On the first day of every week, each of you should set aside a sum of money in keeping with your income, saving it up, so that when I come, no collections will have to be made. We live in the 21st century, so I could translate Paul as, each month, arrange to give a sum of money in keeping with your income, so that no appeals need to be made at the end of each year. <laughs> well, you get the idea. There's no lack of resources in the church. Only the last part waiting to be converted. To you who have returned your pledge form, thank you. Please pray right now for others in our church to be so prompted. And to you not yet, oh, please pray St Paul's biblical mandate. And to those who put this to one side, will you fulfil this last part and enrich your discipleship as you trust in God to provide?